And other financial fun, fun facts. Um, and again, risk and return, but this time 2021. We are using data from Yahoo Finance and I'm using Stata as the econometric software and the study is intended as financial fun facts. So um, there could be little errors and uh, we're using the index Dow 30 and the year is 2021. Um, so why are we using Dow 30 instead of our usual S&P 500? Because it's much, much easier to include and fit 30 companies on a chart and still be able to read it compared to 500 companies included in the S&P 500. The, uh, even though I download the daily prices from Yahoo Finance, the source of the list of companies included in the top 30 uh, are actually, uh, or is the CNBC. And these are the companies that are included in the top 30. The, the variables, risk and return, well, the return is the total annual return in 2021. And that's a basically a total of daily natural law differences of adjusted closing prices. And then the risk is the standard deviation of these daily log differences of adjusted closing prices. Uh, this is the SATA code. You first install the fetch Yahoo quotes to your SATA. Um, and then that's the um, downloading the data. And then we calculate the total return. Notice the collapse sum. So it's the total return for 2021. And then, um, and then we calculate the risk. Again, collapse uh, standard deviation of natural log differences of daily closing prices, adjusted closing prices. And in the second page, we append these temporary files, reshape it, clean up, and then draw the chart. And the chart looks um, like this. On the vertical, you have the return. On the horizontal, you have the risk. And you know, when I talk about this in lecture, I split this into quadrants, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. And ideally, you want to have the, you know, the minimal uh, risk with a maximum return. So Seattle is always the place to be. But you have to also keep in mind that this is a study for fun. And the idea is to just to use data. And um, so thank you for watching. Bye now.